What's happening out there everyone? My name is Rolizi. Welcome back to the channel. Now guys, I have for you today a solo money glitch, okay? It's uh, it's the Sultan RS dupe glitch, but it's way simpler to do. Let me tell you, no TV needed, no God Mode OTR thing needed, none of that stuff. I'm telling you, once you hit the stack, it is easy peasy. Just like that last video I posted, guys, of all those three glitches. Check it out, all right? So, founders of this glitch are Obese Giraffe, Glitch Guru, and Bruntango even had a, uh, you know, a foot in this one, all right? So... What you're gonna need is the MOC with the personal vehicle storage. You want to be using a Sultan RS for the most money. You can also use a slam van or a custom donk. All right. You want a custom plate on whichever one you're using, and then you want more custom plates. I'm telling you, you're gonna need them. Uh, you're also gonna need 955 grand to renovate the weapon and vehicle workshop. Do this in a public session. You want it to be a busy session. Better busy uh, than you know just the amount. And you want as many Fagios or Elegies as you want dupes. If you want five uh, dupes, you want five Elegies or five Fagios, all right? And you want to blow them up, all right? And uh, make sure you, ha you have the ability to sign in as an MC president. And you need also a Warstock vehicle that you can renovate or that you can modify in your MOC, all right? So let's get started right here. What you can see here is me blowing up an Elegy. This is what you want to do to your Elegies or Fagios, the ones that you want to turn into dupes. All right, I'm just showing you if you're using elegies, you have to drive each one of them out or call them up from your mechanic and then blow them up. Much easier to use Fagios because you can just use your MC President menu like this, blow one up, open up your MC menu again, and then call up another one and blow that one up. Okay, so I definitely recommend using Fagios probably. Yeah, you gotta spend five grand a pop, but it's a lot easier to blow those up unless you just got a, blown up, a bunch of blown up elegies already. All right, so I'm gonna show you now at Moore's Mutual how many of these I actually have already blown up. So you see right there, I got a bunch. I wanna turn all these cars into dupes, all right? So those are all gonna turn into dupes. Here is what we're doing, all right? The Sultan stack. I'm going really in depth in this one, all right? So this is gonna be a fail right here. And this is the new method, guys, holding down on the D-pad as you're getting in the car and then slightly holding left trigger and pause just like before. But we're holding down on the D-pad and what you wanna do is when you're holding down on the D-pad, so check it out, I'm gonna press Y triangle to get into the car. Hold down on the D-pad right now. Now hold the left trigger or right trigger slightly and the pause button. Now, you're gonna see him start the car. Once the car started and you hear the engine, you wanna go ahead and let go of down on the D-pad and then let go of left trigger and pause or right trigger and pause, whichever ones you're using. And what you're gonna see is the pause menu come up and a black screen. So I never had luck with this one, all right? This is the new method. I didn't have luck with this at all. I just kept spawning outside like this with the car or I just kept screwing it up completely. So I wanted to really dive, you know, dive deep into this and show you guys. This is also the new location a lot of people are using. Right over here, you see that location? A lot of people are using that. I had no luck there, guys, like none. I tried for like 30 minutes to stack Sultans there did not have any luck whatsoever okay so this is you know to show you that you can be perfect and it looks like it perfectly hit it you want to see the door slightly crack open so check it out I press wire triangle to get into the car now I hold down on the d-pad and then I hold left trigger very slightly and the pause button I'm holding both I'm waiting for him to start the car once he starts the car and I hear the engine going I'm gonna go ahead and let go of down on the d-pad and then let go of the other two buttons all right so here we go. Let go down on the D-pad and let go of the other two. You saw that he slightly opened up the door. You even see the marker on there on the map that, uh, you know, that little icon of me. He just like kind of backed up. That's what you want to see. That is like the perfect result right there. So you should spawn outside on foot, then go back inside the, uh, you know, the MOC and you should see stack sultans. But that wasn't the case here. If this keeps happening to you, switch sessions and switch locations, okay? Because that's just how it is, man. You gotta keep switching sessions. It took me five sessions to finally get it, you know, stacked. Here's another fail of it be of the door actually opening up too much, okay? So there's a lot of things that can happen that'll cause you to fail. So I did the normal thing. I'm gonna let go of Donald on the D-pad now and then let go of left trigger and pause. And look what happens. You saw him opening up the door? That's way too wide. You do not want him to open up the door that much whatsoever, okay? You got the pause menu up and the black screen in the background, but he opened it up way too much and you got out of the car, which is good. But like I said, when the door opens up that much, chances are you did not get a Sultan. So I'm done with this location, could not do it, and I'm done with this method, could not do it. I said, let me go back to my roots. And anybody that's seen my Sultan stack videos in the past, knows where I start out. If you're wondering why that car's all bloodied up, I spawned in this session and some idiot tried to actually jump in the car and take it away. So I had to shoot him. All right, simple as that. <laughs> 
So check it out. This is my spot right here, man. I bring my MOC here. I recommend it. Uh, here it is on the map. It's right behind Eclipse Towers. It's actually a spawn point of the MOC. This is where I go. All right, so go ahead and grab your Sultan or Slam Van or Donk, whatever you're using. Go ahead and drive it into your MOC, and we're going to get started. And I'm not using the down on the D-pad method. It just wasn't working for me. So I'm going to go back to my regular slightly hold, you know, left trigger, and then let go of pause at the same time, all right? So here we go. Press Y, holding left trigger and pause, and then letting go of both of them right as the car is starting. You know, right when he lifts his hand up to go start the car, that's when I'm doing this, okay? So right there, I just failed, simply didn't even get the pause menu up. He just drove out, okay? So finally, we're getting to my successful attempt. This is where I stack Sultan. Uh, this is it. I stack the Sultans here, all right? So pay attention. This is the exact result you want to see. So I'm going to hit Y or triangle to get into the car. At this moment, I'm already holding left trigger about 20% and then holding pause, okay? The start button. Now, he's gonna close the door, he's gonna go ahead and start up the car. When he brings his hand up, the engine's gonna rev three times, and then, boom, I let go of both of them, and he ever so slightly opened up that door, and you saw there on the map, my icon moved back, all right? He, it moves like to the right and then back. That is what you wanna see. And I held up the pause menu just for a little bit and then backed out of it, all right? That is the exact result you wanna see. And now I'm not even gonna fast forward through this. This is what you wanna see also, a long loading screen after, okay? Pretty decently long loading screen. Then you wanna spawn on foot, go ahead and run inside and check to see if you've got Sultans, okay? That is what you wanna do. And walking inside, not fast forwarding either right now. Look how long it takes me to actually load inside. If it's taking you this long to load inside, you like 90% of the time did hit the glitch, let me tell you. All right, if everything looked good, the door cracked open, you're outside, you know, pause when you came up on the black screen, it's taking long to get in, boom, there we go. I got my two Sultans in there. Sometimes they're stacked nicely, sometimes they're not. Now, there are issues where sometimes the dupe or the original just falls down through the map. Unfortunately, we don't have a surefire way to go around this. You, I just recommend driving the car back out and in and then trying again. So that's all I can say, guys. Now, what you want to do is once you've gotten the stack Sultans, you're sure they're in there, they're both in there. If it glitches through the wall and disappears, you're good. It's still in there. If it falls down through the bottom of the map, then that's when you have to do it again. Anyways, open up your phone and go ahead and go to Bay 2 in the Warstock Renovation website and renovate it to the Weapon and Vehicle Workshop. This costs $955,000. That's why we needed that money. That's why I recommend, or I said that we needed that in the very beginning. So, once you've renovated to Weapon and Vehicle Workshop, what you want to do now is it's going to kick you out, sign in as a Motorcycle Club President. Once you've signed in as a Motorcycle Club President, you want to go ahead and call up any bike. You saw that? It just flashed on the map. That's what you want to see. Just go ahead and call up the bike again, and then you want to go ahead and return it to storage. All right, so I'm just fast forwarding here. I was just kind of screwing around. Once you've returned it to storage, now you need to go ahead and get that Warstock vehicle that can be you know, modified in the MOC. In my case, I'm just gonna use an oppressor. I recommend it if you have an oppressor. Nice and easy to just call it up through your MC menu, all right? So, I'm just using my oppressor, but in this case, if you didn't have one, go to your garage and get that Warstock vehicle that you can modify in the MOC, and you're just gonna simply go, go to the back of the MOC, hit right D-pad, and drive in, all right? It's as simple as that. Once you've done that, check this out. The Sultan will not disappear. The Sultan's still there and I'm here on my bike. So go ahead and press B or circle and then hit exit the vehicle. Once you've done that, open up your motorcycle club menu and return vehicle to storage. The oppressor is back or whatever Warsaw vehicle you were using and the Sultan is still there. All right, this is the exact result that you wanna see, okay guys? So now go ahead and what you're gonna do now is open up your phone and call up Moore's Mutual and you're gonna make a claim on any one of those Fagios or Elegies that you blew up or whatever cars you wanted to turn into dupes. Remember, I'm using a few Fag uh, Fagios and Elegies, okay? So, you can see right here, Moore's Mutual, my Alta Street apartment, I have all those that I wanna turn into dupes. So make a claim on one of them. Go ahead and hop into the Sultan. Press right D-pad to modify it. Once you've hit right D-pad, you're gonna get all the options, repair vehicle if you need to. Go to plates, and this is why you need multiple plates, and a custom plate on the Sultan you were starting with. So you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and just change it to another plate, I recommend you do it that way. Back out of the menu and hit exit the vehicle, all right? Not exit the MOC, you're gonna screw it up. 
exit the vehicle and go ahead and exit trailer after that. You've successfully created a dupe just that easy. Literally no God mode trick, no nothing. So go ahead and get your war stock vehicle that can be modified again. All right. In my case, once again, it's the oppressor. So I'm just going to call it my oppressor and I'm going to go ahead and hit right D pad to go in there. Got a long screen going in that shows you it's a really glitchy session. So I'm back in here, press back and then exit the vehicle. Okay. Go ahead and return this vehicle to storage with your MC menu. Now you're gonna call up Moore's Mutual once again. And the guys, this is the process that you're repeating, all right? So call up Moore's Mutual once you're in there, make a claim on a new car that you want it to be a dupe, all right? So there we go. I'm calling up that one that I wanna make it a dupe. And then now hop into the Sultan or whatever you're using in there. Press right D-pad to modify, go to plate, and then go ahead and change the plate or the color. And that'll, they'll both work. I recommend changing the plate. Back out and hit exit the vehicle, exit trailer. Boom, there's two dupes. That freaking easy, guys. I'm telling you. Just, so just keep repeating this process over and over again. I'm just fast forwarding through one other, you know, you know, kind of attempt of me doing it. You know, I drove everything in there, did all that, and there you go. I created another dupe. Simple as that, guys. Now I'm going to show you my contacts right now. I'm going to call my mechanic, and I'm going to show you that Ultra Street apartment. Took me, you know, a few more minutes to kind of finish up all the cars there, but check it out. I have mostly all salt uh, Sultans there, all right? There's eight Sultans in that garage. That is awesome. I got eight new cars to go ahead and sell, and I'm even going to show it off and show you the actual garage so you guys can see how, what it looks like and what you could potentially have to have all these dupes in your garage, all right? Just like that. And they all have a brand new plate. They're all clean dupes, all right? No, no problem with selling these, all right? Just make sure you're not selling more than eight a day and don't sell more than two in one hour, all right? That is essential. So that's going to be it for me, guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and write them down in the comments section. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, dude. I come out with awesome videos like this all the time. Great explanations. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below as well. And make sure you turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody, and have a great night.